Cisco, and uh, we're going to take a look at the new BMW 4 Series convertible. Uh, this is the new model. Um, the 4 Series is the replacement of the 3 Series two-door cars, the coupe and the convertible. And uh, the coupe uh, has been out for a few months. The convertible has just come out. So what I want to do is to look and show you how useful this car is, how you can use it, how you can, use, how you can fit in, and uh, the comfort of the car. So first I want to try the rear seat. So let's unlock the car. So if I need to go to the rear seat, pull the seat like this. And then without reaching down, I can move the seat so I can get more legroom. And it will be easier to step in. So I think this is... I'm going to move it all the way back. Or front. Okay. So now I can set in, move this backwards, and I also can move the seat back. So right now I'm going to move it until it touches my knees like this. So you still have pretty good uh, legroom in the front. Uh, right here I have cup holders. I have uh, AC outlets. Obviously I have the seat belt. And uh, it's pretty comfortable. Um, usually in convertibles and hard top convertibles, they have the small issue is that the seat is more up, upright than regular cars. But this one is not too bad. Out. It is easier to get in and out when the top is down, but this is the worst case scenario. Let's look at the trunk. Okay, so with again with hard top convertibles, pretty much all of them you have this divider. This is how the car knows whether you need more space or you might be putting the top down. So if I'm traveling or if I'm go shopping, I need more room in the trunk. All I need is I need to raise this up, and then I can use all the space. Uh, the uh, golf bag should fit this way or even maybe diagonally and uh, it's pretty roomy. So if I leave it like this and I try to put the top down, it's not going to go down because the sensor tells the car that there might be something in there. So what I need to do, I need to push this down, pull it down, and then you have to remember never to put anything here or in these two compartments because if you put the top down, you might crash it. Alright, so now, close that. And we're going to put the top down. So we can put the top down from the key. We can do it from inside the car, but we're just going to do it from the key. We're just going to fold it. Rolls the windows down first. And then it's going to do the top. And that's it. It beeps to let me know that it's done. Um, one more thing, take a look. The new car, uh, the standard feature, I guess, is that uh, they give you the wind blocker and it's going to be stored behind the rear seat. So this is the wind blocker. This is something I'm going to do it right now. They basically take it out, you unfold it. It's going to go into these inlets on both sides then you will be able to flip it up and it's going to block the turbulence from the back when you drive it on the high speed. So it just makes the ride with the top down more comfortable. All right, now let's look, take a look at the trunk. This is a cool feature that the new convertible has. Um, it makes it easier to fit something in. So you don't have a lot of space here, but the main issue is not the space, is that it's hard to get. So there's what you have on this. You have these two buttons. Look what happens when I hold it. So what I got now, I got much more space to put something in. Obviously, I'm still going to have to put this down. But what I can do is this. I can raise this up. Now take a look. That's the pass-through. I can open this. Then from this side, if I flip the seat, and you see, I can take this out, take out the wind blocker, or I can just do the, there's this key pass-through in the back. Can put something large in the car, like skis, or I don't know, something else, whatever large you need to fit in the car. I still need to push this down. Something goes. Oh, yeah, of course, they're close this. It's not working because this thing is not done. Okay. 
Okay. So what this allows me, I could fit something in. As, as, as long as I can close the uh, partition, it can fit right inside the top, so it can still be done. And just close this one. So that's it. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take this car on a drive. We're gonna just drive around a little bit. We're gonna drive with the top down, and then we'll drive with the top up, just so you can see how quiet and solid it is. Action. All right, so now we're gonna take it on a short drive. Right now the top is down. Obviously you hear everything from the outside. There's a little bit of wind. Um, like all convertibles, there's one button on the driver's side that'll let me roll all the windows up all together. So all the windows are up. Now it's much quieter. The wind is not bothering me. And that's about it. Um, doesn't really matter for the convertible, but this actual car, this is the 428i, this is the smaller engine, this is a sport package. Alright, so I'm gonna push it a little bit. It sounds pretty nice, but it's not too loud, as long as you're not you know, in a tunnel. Just a nice, pleasant ride. Sunny day in California. And then when it's time to put the top up, um, all I need is to stop. I don't need to put the car in park. I just need to stop. You could do this. You could do this on the light. So, but right now I'm just gonna uh, hold it up. You probably can count it this if you're watching the video, but I think it's just a little bit over 20 seconds. So, uh, average stoplight will let you do this while you're waiting for the light to change. Okay, waiting for the windows to roll. Done. That's it. not new but just like the previous convertible uh, 3 series hardtop uh, there's really no big difference between riding this car or riding a coupe it's quiet there's no creaking the car is very solid uh, and just feels like uh, you're driving in a regular used to be 3 series now it's a 4 series uh, there's plenty of room in the front seats in the back there is a difference between a coupe and a convertible but not in this car this car is really comfortable that's about it bottom line as a if you're in, in the market for a convertible it's a great option it still is a rear wheel drive car by the way all wheel drive will be optional first time BMW is offering hard up convertible in rear wheel I'm um, sorry in X drive or all wheel drive and this car will come out soon so it'll be a great option for those living in snow states or for somebody that likes skiing in California that's about it thanks for watching